Hi. 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 Hi, I'm Lauren. And I'm Jen. And we are Two Drunk Girls. And today we are talking about a breaking news topic. Um, it is Bruce Jenner. And we all saw his recent interview with Diane Sawyer. But today he is having a... Uh, initial, possible lawsuit. A possible lawsuit bring, being uh, brought against CNN for publishing some photos of him wearing a dress on his balcony on his property, which he is not okay with, and we'll get to why. But we have a drink of the day today. Look what it is. Champagne. Champers. Cheers to... We're picking champagne. It's Vouve. And we're picking that because we're on Team Bruce. We are, and we're cheering to his braveness and courage and everything he's doing right now. And P.S., did you see that beautiful um, billboard that they have of Bruce Jenner in L.A.? We live in L.A., for those of you that are out of town. I didn't wear it. It's that. just, it's like on, I think, the main street here, I forget. It's just him running. Just Bruce, nothing, it doesn't say anything. It's just a, like an Olympic picture of him running. It's a beautiful photo. I just got chills because... It's it, very, like, it made me feel something when I saw it. It's amazing because we also know him. That's like the whole controversy is we know him as this man, this Olympian. And now we know him as this man that is so... He's been troubled all of his life with, like, his own gender. Identity. And, and I, I think that, to interject for a second, that it just makes you think about, like what you think you know somebody is, he's a man and he's an athlete, so he are, is these things. Well, it's not true. You can be whatever you want to be. You can be a super athletic, masculine man, that masculine in the sense of strength and those outwardly things, but you can also identify with a woman at the same time. It doesn't. There doesn't have to be these stereotypes that this is why we support him. This is why. It is so freaking brave. And, you know, hopefully it will help all of the transgender community feel more comfortable in being who they are. I think it has. And other people feeling more comfortable with it because they understand it more. Exactly. Ding. Ding, ding a million times. Ding. Ding to that. Mm -hmm. I was going to cheers you. And cheers. There we go. Well, I would spit it back out and then drink it again. Sorry. We got you. I didn't got want you. to just fix this light here. Thank there you. There we go. Um, so yeah, so the whole thing though with this, today, this just broke. This is this is an invasion of privacy. Yes, but he's also a public figure, and you know they they got a picture of him outside of his house. He was on the balcony. I this is what I think. I think that there should be a level of respect that should go on for people when they're these very public figures. They live their private lives in public, and I think that's what happens when you're a celebrity and we celebrate that, but I personally think there should be some moral boundaries. I do agree that people, they should have backed off and not have posted this photo of him in a dress. He should be able to emerge when he's comfortable emerging. However, I will say this, people who take photos and sell them to news outlets, I don't think have the same moral compass that I'm expressing right now. No. And I think that I feel bad for Bruce and I agree with him, but I'm going to say I think it's an unrealistic request. I right. think people are going to get as much photos as they can of him, especially now, and I think it's kind of sucks. But it that's sucks. what's going to be. And like he said, he's been the story the whole time on the Kardashian show, and he really now is the story. So unless he wants to completely disappear and reemerge as a woman, like he said he wanted to do, and the Diane Sawyer interview was supposed to be like his disappearance as Bruce as we know him, mm -hmm. and he will reemerge as, as thought, she, yeah. um, it's just not going to happen if he's here. It, su it sucks, and I agree with him, and it should be that way. I just, unfortunately, the life and situation he's in now, I just, I'm saying I think it's an unrealistic request, and I don't yeah. think the people who, that, that's their job is to take photos and sell them to people, especially with him right now. It's such a hot topic. I don't think those people are going to be like, you know what, Bruce, let me give you your space. Right. This is wrong. This is no. morally wrong. I just don't think that, I, I like that he's asking for this space, but I just don't think he's going to get it. No. Um. Also, with the new use of drones, who, no one's safe because we saw one last night. So while a photographer may have gotten him on the balcony, a drone may fly by and shoot directly into his home. It's you just, just don't even know anymore. It's getting a little invasive. Right? It is. It is. But you know what, Bruce? Just like Kim said, you rock it, girl. If you're going to yeah. do it, go hard. Go hard. Bruce Jenner, we totally support you and the people in your position. And we think that Bruce Jenner should be given some space in this time, but I don't know that it's going to happen. And I think he needs to know that there are people out there who, even if he's being exposed in a way he doesn't want to be, we're all here to support that. We are. And we hope that you enjoyed this video. 
please like and subscribe to our channel. Leave us a comment. Tell us what you think about this hot topic because it is seriously so hot right now. So hot right so now. So hot right now. And follow us on Instagram, Twitter. Cheers. And all those things. Cheers to Team Bruce. Cheers to Team Bruce. All we will right. see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.